I spent over $1,000 on World Cup kits, and now I got no money. But these World Cup kits are going to help me decide my career mode team, and let's see if we can build a team that's good enough to win the Champions League. Okay, the first kit I've got is the England home kit. I like this a lot. England have got a really good kit this time around. Look at this. They've got the three lions written over here. I like the blues. Let's rate these kits that we see in today's video. I'm going to give England a solid four star for their home kit. I really like this, man. What do you guys think? The English kit means that we can now choose a Premier League club to do this challenge with. I was thinking Spurs because the highest rated English player is Harry Kane. But then I thought, let's do it with Manchester City. They're the champions of England and they've got Phil Foden. He could be the English player we use. All right, guys, that is the Man City team we're going to be working with. And our goal is to win the Champions League. But remember, every player in this team, apart from Phil Foden, will have to leave. We've chosen Phil Foden as our English player. By the way, just saying, we're giving ourselves a billion pounds to shine all these players from different nationalities. What are your superpowers again? I'm rich. All right, the second kit we've got is actually insane. It's Brazil. Oh, my God. The Brazil home kit, though. Nike, if you've got to be doing more, it's just the same. But, but you know what? You, you can't go wrong with the yellow Brazil kit. Honestly, I like the logo they've got, but it's just a bit too basic. So I'm going to give them a three star. Great. Yeah. Well, we can now sign any Brazilian we want. Guys, I just got to go with a winger with Brazil. I mean, they're known for attacking. They're known for the five star skills. We've got to sign a player like that. The two options are Vinicius Jr. and Neymar. But the issue is we've got Phil Foden. Yo, what if we play Phil Foden like a cam? That should solve things. Okay, with Phil Foden's position now sorted, we can sign Neymar or Vinicius. Who do I go for? Do I go for the present or someone like Vinicius, who is also the present and the future? You know what? Vinicius is unreal. I feel like he's going to have a ridiculous World Cup. So I'm going to sign him. Looks like we've got our first signing, boys. The Brazil kit gets us Vinicius Jr. Had to pay 132 million for him though. And there you go, adding him into the team. Okay, next up, I've got the Belgium kit. This is nice. I like it. I still like the black here in the corners. The, their logo is super cool. But the Belgium kit is nice, but it's not nice enough for me. I'm gonna give it again a three star. We'll see which kit gets a five star rating for me though. But yeah, the Belgium kit is still decent. We can now sign any Belgian player we need. We already have Kevin De Bruyne at the club, so we can could have easily gone for him but i thought of doing something different okay i feel bad for doing this you guys know how Thibaut courtois is mr steal your girl he took away kdb's uh girlfriend or something like that but we're gonna do it we're gonna do a swap deal of kdb and courtois Bro, I can't believe I'm doing this. KDB in the mud. I wouldn't want Courtois as my teammate, that's for sure. I think a straight swap should work. Bro, they, they don't even want KDB. We'll have to sell him because we can't have two insane Belgian players in the team. We'll give them Mares though. That's fine. Let's get this done. And we now have Thibaut Courtois joining in as the Belgian player. Next up, we've probably got my favorite kid, and that's the Japan one. Look at how good this looks. I, I love the, the Japanese letters here, I think. Looks really nice. The, the, the kit is amazing. I love the green the pink this is the best looking kit i've seen for the world cup so far like genuinely amazing i'm gonna give this a five star but remember guys we now need to sign a japanese player for our first team and use him this is gonna be tough tomiyasu is literally the best japanese player in the game apart from kamada but tomiyasu has got the highest potential so we've now got our japanese player in the team as well yo i love it guys the team is coming together tomiyasu caught to our foden and vinicius by the way fun fact holland isn't gonna be at the World Cup. How sad is that? I prefer really not to um, not to speak. Next up, we've got the Germany jersey, and I don't know how I feel about this, guys. It's it's good. I think the design is nice. I like you know the black in the middle, and of course um, the the red around it. It's good, but and and the Adidas logo in the middle is fresh. But I can't give it more than a three and a half. It's not it's not as basic as the Brazil one. They've done something here. So three and a half for me for the German kit. In terms of signing players, Germany should be easy. Of course I was going to sign Joshua Kimmich. Best CDM. He's German. It just works. It really just works. Although we had to pay 117 million for Kimmich. Also, bro, getting these kits was not easy. A month ago, I walked into the Adidas store and they hadn't even started selling the World Cup jerseys. But this time I went, it was a lot better. They had everything on display. I went and asked the guy, yo, where the World Cup jerseys at? And he was like showing me like a jersey of every national team. And I was like, just, just give me all 
all of them. It was nuts. The cashier was legit shocked. I was walking out with like six, seven jerseys. And then I went to Nike and did the same thing. What I call them? Fun coupons. But yes, boys, that's why we're broke. But you got to do it for the content. Good man. A thousand dollar Jersey FC. We need to get the Champions League with this team. So far, we've got Kortuar, Kimmich, Tomiyasu, Foden, Vinicius in the team. Who's going to be our next player? Ooh, we've got the most orange thing I've ever seen. And it's not an orange. It's it's the Netherlands kit. Wow. This is as orange as it gets, bro. The, the, the colors in the video are looking weird because of it. But yeah, this is the Netherlands kit. I still like it. I'm going to give it a three. I can't give it worse than that. It, Netherlands needs to have orange in their kit. So you, you can't blame it. The design Design is good. Fair play. So far, only the Japan kit has been an absolute dub. Okay, for the Netherlands player, there is a big choice we need to make. Virgil van Dijk or Frankie de Jong? How do I choose between these two? I feel like we're not going to get a better defender than Virgil van Dijk. We need to win the Champions League. We need a player who's won it before. I think I'm going to go with him. And there you go. We've got Virgil van Dijk into the team. Fun fact, van Dijk being 90 rated and still cheaper than de Jong. I think this was the play. The next kit we have is probably my favorite one the argentina awake it i like this so much this 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 is getting a 4.5 it's it's not quite a 5 for me but it's a solid 4.5 i just feel it's different you know we never see argentina with these colors they're always going with you know the, the white and blue home kit or like a black awake kit. so I, I rate this a lot fun fact guys i am actually gonna be going to the qatar world cup my tickets have arrived and i'll be there for about five, six days, we'll be watching a ton of games, ton of content, so stay tuned. I'm gassed. And yes, I'm going to watch Leo Messi at the World Cup. Yeah! Okay, there are two Argentines who I wouldn't mind signing. One is Messi and the other one's Lautaro Martinez. I really want to sign Lautaro, but I feel like it's Messi's last World Cup, guys. Ah, I think we should. We should get him in a team for this challenge. And Lautaro, I'm sorry, we're going to skip you. We're going for Messi. And there you go. We've got Leo Messi in our World Cup kits team. We had to pay not much. I, I thought he would have been our most expensive player, but you guys know how valuations work in career mode. If you're young, you're super expensive. If you're old, well, not really. Bro, the team is coming together. Messi's in as well. Well, we're just now looking for a striker, a centre-back, a left-back. Just three players to go. Oh, actually a midfielder as well. De Bruyne can't be in this team. Okay, we've got Sweden as the next kit. This is cool. I like the Sweden kit. I know it's, it's always just yellow with stripes, but they've done a good job. I like the designs. I'm going to give this a four. This is something I think I wouldn't mind wearing, you know, just, just for a regular day. Four stars for Sweden skit. I like it. The best Swedish player we can probably sign is Zlatan Ibrahimovic. He's not going to the World Cup in real life as far as I know. The other option we've got is getting Victor Lindelof, but we need to win the Champions League. Can we do it with Lindelof at the back? And so we've got our striker, the Swedish beast Zlatan up top. I can't believe we're gonna have to get rid of Haaland and put in Zlatan Ibrahimovic. I mean, if this was 10 years ago, okay, but not now. Goodbye, Haaland. You're not going to the World Cup, so we're gonna miss you. Next up, we've got the Spain home kit, and this actually reminds me of the World Cup 2010 Spain kit. I don't know why, it's just super similar. If I had to rate this, it's good. It's really good. I like the red in this, and I'd say I'd give it a four, but it's maybe because of, of how nostalgic I am from the 2010 World Cup, because that was the first time I ever watched football properly, and I just fell in love with the sport. So, for that reason, this, this gets a four. I think it would be wrong to sign anyone but Pedri. For the Spanish blade of this team he is i think their best player we paid 202 million for him guys the team has come together really well i love to see that we just now need to sort out the left back and the center back position the next kit we've got is the portugal home kit i don't know about this boys i feel like they could have done something a lot better than this what do you guys think like i don't like the way the green is like half cut into it portugal deserves a better kit i feel i feel like they've had way better kits than this but it's still good but i wouldn't give it more than a three if i'm being honest and i know people are gonna say oh you you don't like ronaldo that's why nah dude i'm just being honest ronaldo deserves a better kit than this one thing i've noticed nike has been slacking adidas kits have been better as usual well guys we actually have to make a decision between jao cancelo and ruben diaz who's gonna be in who's gonna be out i think we're probably gonna get another chance of a good center back with the next kit so i'm thinking let's go for cancelo don't get a better left back than that and that means goodbye ruben diaz and the final player will be signed from is from Germany.
Tommy. So yes, it's a repeat kit, but my god, is this kit amazing. It just looks ruthless. Like, I would be scared of facing Germany in this kit. Oh, shiver my timbers. My god, how clean does this look? Bro, this is gonna be the second five-star jersey for me. Wow, is this amazing. And that means we can sign a second German player. It's gonna be Antonio Rüdiger, 100%. There's our final player for now, and we've paid 133 million for Rüdiger. Let's chuck him in, and that is that. Our team is complete. Bro, just look at that. Every player from a different nationality. But the question is, can we win the Champions League with them? Let's find out. With the team we have, I was not sure what to expect, but we actually played well in the group stages. Messi, first chance, and there is our first goal. Come on. Oh my god, Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Bro, I thought that was going nowhere. This guy has still got it. Bro, how has he pulled that off? Bro, since when is Zlatan this quick? I don't get it. I don't get it. That was insane. You'd think this team was ready to try and win the Champions League, but then Ibrahimovic and Pedri got injured. Ibra out with an ACL for six months, and Pedri with an LCL for the next six months. Bro, what is that luck? Okay, this couldn't get any worse. Even Vinicius is injured, but at least he'll be back in a month. We are in January, and I've got an idea. We're gonna find three kits that I do not have and sign players from those nations, but the nations we choose cannot be from from Europe. The first kit that I like that I don't have is the Uruguay kit. It looks so clean. Puma's a sponsor. I like this a lot, but who do we sign from Uruguay? We basically have two options, Darwin Nunes or Fede Valverde. This was a tough one, but I went for Fede Valverde. I just feel like we needed that Pedri replacement, so there you go, that's done. We're gonna have Pedri on the bench for now, and Fede Valverde as a starter. We still need to get a new striker. Next up, we've got the Canada World Cup kits. I was actually going to use them for the video, but fun fact, they didn't update their kits for the World Cup, so we can't use them. Ooh, the Senegal kit is one I'd love to have. I mean, they're a wig. It looks so interesting. And so we get our first African player in Sadio Mane. I think that's a real good one. Sadio Mane can help us out in the absence of Vinicius. The problem is we need a new striker, but there's no good striker available in the rest of the nations. To save us from this situation, look what we have. One last kit. I just found this somehow. It's the World Cup edition of the Argentina kit. This saves us. And so we're able to sign a player I wanted to sign at the start, Lautaro Martinez. With Vinicius even back from his injury, Lautaro in the team, I think we can win the Champions League. But it wasn't going to be easy. We drew PSG in the round of 16 and we lost the first leg. But the second leg was different. Phil Foden? Phil Foden? Oh, let's go! Bro, I'm telling you, this kid is going to do bits for England at the World Cup, although their defense is going to let them down. Go on, Lautaro. I think he's kept himself on. Lautaro, our January signing, and that's the goal that's going to send us through. We then drew Spurs in the Champions League, but that was honestly a cakewalk. In the semi-finals, it was AC Milan. And I won't lie, this was rather simple as well. Fede Valverde is just such a fighter. Easy. How has he done that? Milan have fumbled. And with that, we've knocked out Milan from the semi-finals. We've reached the finals of the Champions League, and we're up against Benfica. Bro, what even? That might be the easiest final for Man city ever surely the world cup kids boys can't bottle this we've managed to win the premier league a bunch of kids has ended up winning the title well that's an easy way to put it but fair enough also the fa cup and we're in the big one let's play this game and see what happens of course we're going to use this op team that we've built i so want to use latan ibrahimovic man uh, is he available for this game let's put him in he might just be you know let's just do it let's just see if we can get latan ibrahimovic in i think we will We'll be. Yo, we will be able to play Slatan. It's against Benfica. Surely he can do the job. Messi. Messi in the Champions League final. Let's go. Oh, Phil Foden is just wavy, man. But right foot, don't shoot with it. Oh, Slatan. Bro, what was that touch? What was that touch and goal from Slatan? Yo. Oh, this is it. This is the goal to end it. There you go. Too easy. There's that, guys. We've won the Champions League. So there you go. $1,000 World Cup kits has won us the Champions League. If you enjoyed this video, click somewhere here to watch another one.